Hello everyone. What an exciting day we had yesterday. I'm not going to review the events uh, such as what the ECB did or what the US GDP figures were because you probably know what happened. I'll just give you my take on things. First off, I think uh, ECB President Draghi left the impression, at, at least with me, that the move he, that was more of a fine-tuning exercise than a major shift in policy. While I was impressed with how quickly the ECB reacted to the, the fall in inflation in September, uh, the, the decision to move wasn't unanimous. Uh, the ECB thinks the risks for inflation are now balanced, and it'll take a lot more for, to get them to move again, policy again. Clearly, they would move again if necessary. Uh, Draghi said as much. But if the decision wasn't unanimous this time, then it'll be even harder to get agreement the next time. Meanwhile, in the U.S., the details of the GDP figure were less impressive than the very impressive headline number. A lot of the unexpected growth came from a surge in inventories, which is likely to be unwound in the future. Nonetheless, even bearing all that in mind, I think we're effectively back to where we were before the U.S. government shut down at the beginning of October. The ECB has eased. It's promised to remain loose for at least another year and a half. Plus, it said it stands ready to ease even further if necessary. As for the Fed, it's just a matter of when they tighten, not whether. This dichotomy of central bank positions is likely to be a major driver of the foreign exchange market again. I think it will push the dollar higher against most other currencies that don't have a similar tightening bias, which is most currencies at the current time. In particular, I think it's likely to push euro dollar lower. Now, dollar yen was the exception to the strong dollar overnight. It moved sharply lower as Nikkei futures dropped during New York trading. That was apparently due to disappointment with the Japanese government's failure to achieve full deregulation of internet sales of over-the-counter medicine. Uh, that failure calls into question Prime Minister Abe's plans for revitalizing the economy. Well, moving towards uh, events, uh, today we have uh, yet another big event, the uh, U.S. non-farm payrolls and the unemployment rate for October. The payrolls are expected to rise 120,000, that's below the 148,000 rise in September, and the unemployment rates are forecast to rise to 7.3% from 7.2. Now, the unemployment rate will be affected by the government shutdown in October, since someone who isn't at work is considered unemployed even if they're getting paid. Uh, so people will pay more attention to the payroll figure and less attention to the unemployment rate this month. We also have the University of Michigan consumer confidence figure for November, that's expected to rise. I think that would be very positive for the dollar because uh, it would show that the government shutdown didn't dampen confidence. Well, for more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Gittler, head of Global FX Strategy at INFX, wishing you solid trading.